Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Java video. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can package your Java program into a jar file using IntelliJ IDEA and then how to run it. Okie dokie, so I've got a Java program here. Very, very simple. Just got a few classes and interface. Got a static method here. And yeah, it's really simple. The code doesn't really matter. But yeah, sometimes you may want to package your code into a jar file. Maybe you want to share it with another person. Maybe you uh, someone you're working with or a friend, you want to give them the program so they can run it themselves. So a jar file is simply a packaged Java application. So your code will com be compiled into one file, uh, the jar file. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. So there's a few ways you can do it. You can do it using IntelliJ. You can do it using the Java runtime environment command line tools. You can do it using um, Maven. So there's a bunch of ways you can do it. But yeah, IntelliJ, it's built into IntelliJ. You're using IntelliJ, so might as well use IntelliJ to build your jar file. So let me show you how you can do that. So go to File, Project Structure, then go to Artifacts down here. Then click the plus button, and then go to Jar, since we're building a jar file. Then do From Modules with Dependencies. Great. So now here's the module, just basically your project, uh, the main class. Uh, this will search your project, and then there we go. Our main class has been identified automatically. So me.codysimpson.main. You're just telling the jar file where to start the program, essentially. And then uh, you can leave all this default. Um, this is pretty good. Uh, it's going to give you a manifest file, so it'll just have all the details of your jar file, like the version, the name, and all that stuff. We're just going to leave that all default, so click OK. Looks good to me. Don't need to change anything here. You can change the jar file name if you want to, if you want a different name. Uh, that's also acceptable, but uh, yeah, and then click apply. Perfect. There we go. So now we have a an artifact configuration so we can build our Java program into a jar file. So to do that, you go up to build, then go down to build artifacts and then click build. So it's going to build it into a jar file and there we go. So you may notice a few things that happened. So we got a meta.-emp folder now. Open this up and you have a, a manifest.mf file. And this is simply a file that has all the configuration for your jar file. So you got the manifest version, the main class. Um, you may even see something like a uh, built by or something like that. So you have the author of the of the, pro the application and all that stuff. So properties of the jar file and uh, the build stuff. But we don't have to worry about that. So let's go to out. And this is where you can find all of your, um, your jar file that jar files that were built. So that's just your, uh, I think that's, these are just your classes. Yeah, we don't have to worry about that. These are just your, like your compiled classes after they're compiled. They're just placed into here, it looks like. And this is where you can actually see your jar, your jar file after it's been created, uh, built. So if we want to access it, we can right click this and do open in Explorer. There we go. So now we can see it inside of our computer's file explorer. And here we go. So now you have your own jar file. You can send it to your friends. You can, uh, do whatever you want with it. And so if you want to figure out, like, let's say you do send it to your friend or something like that, or a coworker, and you want them to be able to run it, how can they run it? Because the jar file, just by the way we did it, is not executable just by double clicking. That's not going to actually run the code. So to run the code, you want to open up the command line and get to this location. So um, you can use, let's, we can use uh, command prompt for that. Or if you have git bash, you can right click and do git bash here. And now it's automatically in that location. So let me make this bigger for you guys real quick. We can do Java dash jar since we're running a jar file, not something else. And then we got to specify the name of the jar file or its location. So since we're already in that directory, we can just do what's it called? Uh, instance of pattern matching dot jar run it. And there we go. So that's the output of our program. It has run the program successfully because if we look here, uh, we have a triangle. It's just calculating the area of the triangle, which is going to be three. And then it's outputting the area. So shape area colon three. And that's exactly what we get for the output of the program. So perfect, right? That's great. So let's say we do change this. Um, we can say, I like pickles. And we can go ahead and rebuild this. So build, build artifacts, rebuild. And that should replace that, I think, hopefully. Let's run it again. And there we go. So now it says shape area three, I like pickles. So as you can see, it's actually running the jar file. Um, which contains our new code within it, which is really cool. So there we go. That's how you can create a jar file using IntelliJ IDEA and then how you can run it using the Java command line tool. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and peace.